What's up gang? Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a backyard project. Right now I'm in my backyard, obviously, and one third of my backyard is fenced in with wood, which needs to be replaced, and the other third is all chain link, which I have nothing against chain link, but the problem with this is that this side here faces the woods, so my dogs are constantly barking at other dogs in other yards or animals that they see out there, and that can be annoying to some of the neighbors. And this neighbor here is on a lower level than my house. So sometimes when I'm out here at night with a flashlight with the dogs, I, I don't want them to think that I'm looking in their windows like some kind of creep, you know? So something needs to be done to add some kind of privacy. Now, I don't want to cover the entire chain link fence because we do have some nice sunsets that happen right over there. So I do want to be able to still see that. I just want to break the sight line of my dogs and give my neighbors a little bit more privacy. So I've been looking around a while for some type of privacy fence that I could do. I, I was looking at the slats and stuff, but those look kind of dated. And I found online a faux ivy privacy roll that you just roll out and attach to your fence. And I've been eyeing it for a while and finally it went on sale and I had a coupon. So I'm like, I got to jump on this. I got to get these. So let me show you what I got. This is how it comes. A long skinny box like this. Side. They've got just a little bit of description of it. It says easy to install, easy to cut, indoor, outdoor, and includes 12 zip ties. And each section of ivy is 40 inches by 96, so a little over 3 feet tall and 8 feet long. Here are the zip ties. They are dark green, and then you get a dozen. And then this is what the ivy roll looks like. here since it came rolled up it does still kind of want to roll back up so I'll have to unroll it as I attach it to the fence and just go along that way. Now like I said this is 40 inches by 96 and you would think all the chain link sections would be the same but they're not. I have six nine feet sections and four eight feet sections so if I did my calculations correctly I got enough rolls to do the whole section of chain link. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy zip ties and I'm just going to start on this corner here and unroll it and attach it and work my way down. So we'll see how this goes.
So this is what it's looking like so far. And I did underestimate a little bit. I will need one more section to go right there, but I think that was pretty good. This ain't a good girl. So far, I've only put zip ties along the tops and the sides to secure to the fence, and I still have plenty left, so I can go back now and secure some of the middle sections where it might be bowing out a little bit. Um, and if it's really bowing out, you maybe need to just pull it tighter so that it lays flat. I kind of like the how it's kind of waviness. I don't know if you can tell or not, but like some of it goes wavy. But I kind of like that. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. And the leaves will fluff out as they relax, you know, and get weathered a little bit. But I'd say this looks pretty good so far. <laughs> And I don't own this house, I rent, so this is very renter friendly. When my landlords decide to sell the house and kick us out, this can easily be taken down and rolled back up and taken to the new place. So it is very renter friendly. You could also use these to create backdrops for any kind of photo shoots or parties like weddings, baby showers, any kind of party you want. Um, and then you could even take it one step further and jazz it up a little by, you know, attaching some flowers on their roses or whatever you like. You know, when I was considering even putting this up, I was worried that it might close off the backyard and make it look smaller. But honestly, since it's not like a full, it's not the full height, it's not like prison walls, it's just this little height. And it really kind of draws your eye to like the length of the backyard. So I feel like it kind of makes it look bigger. I would say the total time it took me to put all this up would be half an hour, 45 minutes tops. One, because of the amount of space that I had to do. But it went on relatively easily. It's a one-man job. There's no directions. Like, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a no-brainer. Um, pretty easy. I think it looks really good. And it already, already does feel more private back here for my neighbors and everybody else. Like, even just vlogging back here, I feel better. Like, people aren't watching me. I mean, these guys up here are higher so they can see me, but there they can't. Now we can have some wild parties and... <laughs> Just kidding, I don't have any friends, it's just me and the girls. <laughs> but I am very happy with this so far, and I think my neighbors will appreciate it as much as I do. So, I will leave all the product info in the description box if you want to check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, love you!